Bourgondi now pushing hard and look at young Cooks he's having to put his head when you've got your head right down looking at your feet you're in trouble and the guys are coming up behind with a three who are breaking away Pozzato I think it is who's coming up behind there we are Pozzato Gilbert now puts the hammer down Ferreira still with them though and Ferreira's got even, even got time to look over his shoulder and they're going to catch them very shortly as uh, Gilbert has tried this before we saw it last year I think in fact uh, Gilbert had a go at this particular point couldn't get away got caught this time he's got to go uh, over to the last step four I think we're on the uh, just come off the back of the volant we're on the Côte de Petit uh, Paul de Lain. Four kilometers to go then, and all the big sprinters at the moment are still hanging in there. Daniele Bonatti, Tom Bonin, well, Bonatti may have gone a little bit, but uh, certainly Bonin was there. Ferreira was working up. It looks like Gilbert's got across. Gilbert's got to go across there. Funny how that Oscar Frey, who was with uh, Gilbert, did not follow that one. Mm. Maybe he's just uh, right on the limit. Maybe he couldn't. I'd yeah. be surprised. He was looking good, actually. Gilbert has got it. He's got uh, onto the wheel of Jan Cooks, and he's just staying there. The Belgian is uh, sitting on the Belgian at the moment. There are three uh, Frenchmen ahead of him. Now, is that still Pozzato in, yeah. in, in uh, the middle of these two? That's Pozzato. Another man whose facial hair has now been removed. Uh, four, well, it says four kilometers. Less than four kilometers to go now. With uh, Pipo Pozzato looking over his shoulder and easing up waiting for the others yeah. to come up to him and past him now Ferreira must be in this group surely the question is now can quick step liquid gas and rubber band get together and work as a team to actually bring this group back because at the moment la francaise de Giro in on in a numerical advantage and with gilbert here clearly he's going to be the freshest guy in in this group and he would probably be able to attack and get away from these guys so it's going to be Someone needs to, to take responsibility of the race and actually bring this group back now very, very quickly if, if we're going to have a, a, mass, a, a big sprint again. Put yourself in the shoes of, say, uh, the quick step director. What will you be telling your boys to do now? Depends on how many guys you've got left in the front. Mm. Um, if you only have one rider, you know, you need to speak to, the, to, the, to some other teams as well and make sure you, get, you put a guy in their age. But... That's also difficult about cycling, that there's always a million different possibilities every second appearing and you've got to pick the right decisions all the time. I think this one's going to come down to a sprint, Magnus, because we've got three kilometres to go and the gap has come right down again. Gilbert is on the front with Delage, trying to drive it on two kilometres to go. And there's still a gap, but not enough, I don't think. And and this is playing well for uh, Turgo, who's got a fairly good uh, turn of speed. Looking right, Volgondi is the one who looks dangerous to me about these guys because uh, Gilbert is being dragged along by Delage. If they can get to the one kilometre to go, Banner, which one of these guys is going to go? Gilbert. Definitely Gilbert. He will have to keep an eye up backwards here now and see who, how far have I got to the rest of the group and when is the right time to actually make an attack? How far can I hold you know make an attack from and and go f absolutely give everything that you have and just a little bit more than a kilometer you're capable of doing that and the gap is still fairly decent i must say it is and this is what we were talking about earlier we're on the avenue de Gramont. it's about three kilometers of dead straight road running okay. through the center of tour it's uh, it's unique one kilometer to go and Mikael Delage is just burying himself on the front for Philippe Gilbert this will be one of the great classic wins if he can do this he's looking behind him to see where the uh, peloton is they've still got a gap they've still got a gap we saw Frederic Guénon doing this last year with Kurt Agla Arvison as they uh, as they bore down on him like thunder but they didn't manage to get it in the end still Gilbert looking good Volgondi looking good having a shout at quickly now. oh this is it well I still think they've got a chance it's going to be about 500 meters to go somebody's got to go now though here we go this is the last of the shots that we see from this forward facing camera 500 meters Gilbert needs to go now if he's not going to get caught in and be outrun by the sprinters. Well, anybody's got to go now, haven't they? This is Nicola Bogondi going, and now the sprinters are sorting themselves out. You can see Daniele Bonatti uh, just behind, trying to jostle for position. Yep. They're all over the road at the moment. It's uh, Bogondi in the middle. It's Turgo on the right-hand side. Philippe Gilbert coming up through on the left-hand side. It's Gilbert who's going to take the win.
Gilbert does it this year. He failed last year and all of the big sprinters out the back door. There we go, Perry Tours. <laughs> yeah, thanks very much. Right, that's it, we're off. <laughs> okay, finish. <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's just... It's great how this race can create so many different opportunities, so many different possibilities for a great finish. So Look at this, uh, Nicola Volgondi for once uh, was looking as though he might get something. Gilbert on the right hand side, Turgo, and look at the way Jan Cooks comes on the left hand side of this. The Belgian, he just left it a little bit too late. But Philippe Gilbert in the end was a bike length ahead. It's great for for the small team like Tony Steiner to get a second place out of yeah. a, of a Paris Tours. You know, it's uh, it's good to see. I know this is one of Sean's favourite riders. Uh, he's due a big win in the classics. He's managed to get one finally. Uh, a lot of people have been saying that he'd be go for some of the spring of the Ardennes classics uh, or the spring classics. But uh, he's one head Volk, a semi classic. Now he's won a real full on classic. Uh, Paris Tour 2008 won for a second year running by Francis Dujeu. This is a win for uh, Philippe Gilbert. Yeah, and it was quite interesting to see as well that um, there was actually none of our, our, our big sprinter predictions that won the, won the bunch sprint in the back. It was actually Dan Tyler Ferrara won that one. <laughs> <laughs> he is, get that in there. You go. I've yeah. got to put that one in. Yeah, got to put that one in. Jonathan <laughs> will put an extra paycheck in the yeah, post for you. you. That's very much. good. <laughs> Here are the rest of the boys coming in, uh, being tailed off in those last two or three uh, hills. But the win goes to Belgian Philippe Gilbert, the man from uh, the Walloon region of Belgium, takes the win ahead of Jan Cooks, another Belgian. Sebastian Turgot from Bouygues Telecom. Nicolas Vogondi, the French champion, was fourth. And Tyler Farrar at fifth spot, four seconds back. Robbie McEwen, sixth. Zabel finishes seventh in his final trip to uh, Paris Tour. Doesn't make it four. Uh, so will remain with three victories. But the winner today, Philippe Gilbert of Belgium in a spectacular sprint.